We first heard about ivermectin in November of 2020. A doctor in Egypt stated the antiparasitic helped COVID patients stay alive. This report was retracted in July. Do these studies promoting ivermectin have any merit? Let's verify. Our question comes from 13 on your side viewer Nancy. She wrote, ivermectin has been used for decades and is used successfully to treat COVID patients. But is that true? Our sources for the story are the FDA, the CDC, the WHO, Dr. Del DeHart, University of Michigan's Health West infectious disease physician, and an article by James Heathers, chief scientific officer at Cypher Skin. Drugs that aren't the vaccine, are those supposed to work for COVID? One thing we all need to be very careful about is, is the sell on late night TV about this works for me, you know, and, and that's never a way to do science. The FDA and CDC say ivermectin is approved to treat parasitic worms and head lice, not a virus. The two organizations in the WHO say getting the COVID-19 vaccine is the most effective way to limit the spread of COVID-19. Dr. DeHart joins the groups and says drugs like ivermectin aren't authorized or approved for use in preventing or treating COVID-19 in humans or animals because data simply does not show ivermectin as effective in treating COVID. If you give massive doses of ivermectin in cell culture, you can show a very minor difference in how much COVID can affect, infect cells, but you'd have to give a dump truck of ivermectin to get that level into people and it would kill you before it would help. Dr. DeHart says he fights against misinformation, much like researcher Heathers. Heathers confirmed that his team analyzed the existing ivermectin studies. A minimum of five were inaccurate, with one being withdrawn. He notes that the ones that come to a clear consensus of ivermectin works are faulty and shouldn't have been published. So no, ivermectin has not been shown to be effective in fighting or curing COVID. And scientific articles that have implied so have been discredited by scientists, doctors, and researchers. I want to be very clear. You can also overdose on ivermectin, which can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and allergic reactions. In more serious cases, seizure, coma, and even death. Doctors urge to only take the approved medicine. If you have something you'd like me and the Verify team to look into, you can email us at verify at 13onyourside.com. You can also text the word verify to 616-559-1310.